what I've got here is a battery and it is supposed to be 23 amps at 12 volts. It's not very big. You can see by the end of my little finger, it's not very big. So I'm kind of curious what's inside this thing that's supposed to be able to deliver that much power. I mean, so yeah, let's uh, put our safety glasses on and I will clamp this in place and then we shall try to pry it open with our, our uh, knife and see what's going on. Needless to say, uh, disclaimer, don't do this at home. Just watch the video and enjoy and hopefully I won't uh, lose any eyes or fingers or anything. Okay, so let's do this thing. It looks like there's a seam right here. So let me see if I can get the best of it. Uh, yeah, it's got a metal covering on it. Get a better grip on things. Wow. There we go. We have breached it. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. What is that? Okay. No shorts, please. No loud bangs, flashes. What have we got going on? These batteries were used in, uh, oh, it's a black covering, plastic covering. They were used in old film cameras. And they're also used in other stuff like remotes, remote controls. Um, oh, flying apart. Huh, okay, are you seeing this? Look at that. It's just a series of button batteries. Now, this one is clearly coming apart and releasing some nasty chemicals, no doubt. So yeah, it's a series of button batteries. It's got a, uh, black insulative layer, a, uh, an end ring, end caps like this, one, two end caps. And yeah, oh, that's another button battery that came out of there, okay. Uh, yeah, so this is what we're looking at. It's 12 volts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cells. Um, so each one's one point something volts. Let's see if I can read that. Eh, no way. Um, yeah, LR 932 batteries. So nothing, uh, I don't know. Can you see that? Yeah. LR 932 batteries. Nothing special about them. Just all wrapped up in a, in a little case and stuck in there. So I guess if you really, uh, needed to create your own battery when these things, when they stop producing these, you can just get a stack of these and wrap them in some kind of a plastic tube and you'd have a substitute battery. Not a long video today, but kind of interesting to see what was inside. Okay. Well, I hope you found that useful and interesting in your uh, electrical endeavors.